let us move to stock sales. Now, when it comes to stock sales or customers, you need to read these bullets very, very carefully because these bullets contain information for all our customers. Account Z99 is used for all cash sales transactions. Use sales 444, no space in between, as referenced and implemented for every sale. Cash customers receive a 5% cash discount on all purchases. The names and addresses of all cash customers must be indicated on the documents in the delivery address field. All new credit customers receive a settlement discount of 7.5% within 30 days unless other terms are specified. Message for cash transactions. Enjoy your show. Now, let's look at our first person that we sold to. We have a new customer, SK1. Whenever there's a new customer, read at the bottom. Same with supplier, same with inventory. Comfy shoes sold to a new credit customer named SK1. Use code C00. Right, let's go to Pasto. We say process, system. Press enter. We don't have on our screen here, there is no SK1. We're going to press F6 to add. The code we already just saw, which is C002, the description is S, tray wagon. Let us go and see what other bits of information we have on the customer. A cell phone number is 0, plus 27, 769-7466-175. Let's go and put that into our pastoral program. Under telephone, we can simply write down the number as it is. Actually, it does not go to telephone. It goes under mobile phone. We go back. Her email address is sgraywagon at calcomnet.co.za. So under email, we're going to say sgraywagon at calcomnet.co.za. Then we need to look at what else is given to us. The contact person is Shara Craywagon. We go back to contact and we type in Shara Craywagon. Next thing is we go back. We need to look at what else is given to us. Physical address, 402 Albert Street, Pretoria, Gauteng, 0181. So 402 Albert Street. Physical address, 402 Albert Street, Pretoria, Gauteng. Let's look at the code again. 0181. 0181. We've got a postal address there after. Look at our postal address that's given to us. P.O. Box 456, Menland, Pretoria, 0060. Type that in. P.O. Box 456, Menland, Pretoria. And the code for this is 0060. That's your code. 0060. 0060. Now, let's look at what else we've got. Credit limit is 12,500. The credit limit. So let's go and add it. Click on processing. You'll see that you have information. We don't need anything here. Under terms, click on terms. Credit limit. And what is the credit limit? 12,500. 12,500. Now that we've typed in all the information, we simply click on save. After we've saved that, we close and we can choose our customer and press enter. Ensure that our period is correct and the date for this customer, the sale is the 2nd of May 2020. So all we're going to do is go back and choose the date, which is the 2nd. Now, your reference, let's go back and where we had to read very, very carefully. We are starting with sales 444 as our reference. We're going to type in sales 444. Press enter. We can leave sales code blank and we can go to our discount. This is now our trade discount. We need to see if we have a trade discount for this customer. And here we can see that there is no trade discount specified for this customer. Therefore, we can leave it as zero. Our terms discount is this block, and we need to choose our terms discount, which is given to us. 
all new credit customers receive a settlement discount of 7.5% within 30 days. So we can choose 7.5% within 30 days. Now we're ready to process our stock. When it comes to customers, as you can see here under details, there is no prices listed here, which means you do not change the prices of customers like you did in suppliers. You just, all you need to do is choose the stock item and put the correct quantity. Let's start with the first one, which is Nike sneakers. Just enter, find Nike sneakers, ensure that your quantity is correct, which it is actually one, and we can go to the next item, which is men's flip flop. Enter to choose the next item, which is men's flip flop, and we can choose the quantity, which is given to us as two. The next item is UGG boots. We choose the item, and we need to change the quantity. It's one. And the next item is women's flip-flop sneakers, and the quantity given to us here is two. The next item that's given to us is one kitty sneakers. We choose kitty sneaker, and we leave it as one. And the last item is our service item, which is our delivery cost of 9 kilometers. So all we do is choose our delivery, and our quantity is going to be the number of kilometers, which is 9. But we are not done with this invoice, because at the bottom it says, allow 2.5% additional discount only on any men's shoes or sandals sold to this customer. Go back to our invoice. And let's look at men's shoes. So we've got two men's shoes here. We've got M001 and M002. Let's see exactly what, the, what they want us to do. Allow a 2.5% additional discount only on any men's shoes or sandals. Which means the first two items are going to qualify for this 2.5% discount. All you need to do under the discount column is type in 25 for the next item as well, which is also a men's item, you say 2.5 and press enter. The rest of the items are women's and kids, which means we don't need to interfere with anything. And then we are done with this invoice. We can just print and move on to our next invoice. The next invoice is Tembi Madoncella, which is a cash sale. So now, for a cash sale, it says, the names and addresses of all cash customers must be indicated on the documents in the delivery address field. So all of this information, I'm going to show you where to put it in. So you press enter. You don't see the customer. Please do not add a cash customer. We simply use CZ99 cash sales. And your item that's going to go in here is quite simple. We're going to say Tembi Madoncella. The address, 16 Conky Lerumo Street. Fair West. And the postal code is 0125. Then you can press enter to go to the date. What is the date of this? The date is the 14th of the 5th month, 2021. Your customer's reference is going to be sales 445 because we incremented it from 444. Sales code is blank and your discount, your trade discount is given to us at the top. It says cash sales receive a 5% discount on cash purchases. Say 5%, terms can remain zero. And the first item that we sold to this customer is UGG Boots 1. So we choose our UGG Boots. We press Enter. Only one. Go to the next item. What is the next item that we sold? Next item is two women's flip-flop sneakers. Choose women's flip-flop sneakers. And we choose two. Third item that we've sold. Let's have a look. One men's flip-flop one men's foot flop. The next item that we've sold is one saint and summer sandal. And the last item that we've sold to this person is 
two men's foot flop sneakers. Two men's foot flop sneakers. Now, we are not done because it says message for all cash transactions. Enjoy your shoes. So in this block at the bottom, you remove whatever is there and you type in enjoy your shoes. Something I just want to touch on. Your terms, I left it blank and I skipped it. The reason for this is a cash sale will never ever have terms. These terms are only for credit customers for the early settlement. Once you are done with that, you are done with your invoice, you say print document, and you move on. Now, in this question paper, we only had two sales to customers. Now let's look at the returns to customers, the returns by customers. And these returns are processed in your credit note. So once again, while you are on processed customer, your document type you change to credit note. The person that returned to us was our credit customer, which is S. Clay Wagon, one men's foot flop, which was broken on the 4th of May. So we choose a customer, S. Clay Wagon. Ensure that your period is correct. If we can put the date of the return, which was the 4th of May. Now we come to the original invoice. When we're looking at the original invoice, we need to go back to the item that we printed previously on S. Clay Wagon, your tax invoice. And we want the document number from here, which is CINV40. That is what is going to go into the space. CINV40. Then we need to worry about the original trade discount. This customer did not have a trade discount, so we can simply leave it blank. The item that was returned by this customer was one men's foot flop, which is broken. So let's choose one men's foot flop. It's one, your quantity. You go to your next line, you change it to seven, which is remarks, and you can say it is broken. Alternatively, you can go down to the bottom, you can put in the code, and then the reason. Whichever way you do it, it is up to you. You will get the same amount. Right? That is the end of customer. In the next video, we are going to be moving on to cash book, but this is where we're going to end. Thank you for watching.